Captain's Kitchen, brought to you by Pelagic, high performance offshore gear. Hi, on this episode's Captain's Kitchen, we're gonna talk about ceviche. This is absolutely one of my favorite seafood recipes for a number of different reasons. First, the versatility. Really, the ingredients are only limited by your imagination. Also, it's so simple. There's absolutely no cooking required. That's what makes it so special. Ceviche originated in Latin America, and I'll tell you what, it's really come to life with so many different variations. So I start off with some fresh black belly rosefish, and I chose black belly rosefish because it's in the scorpion fish family related to lionfish. And I'll tell you what, it just makes a perfect candidate for ceviche. I've got these cubes, nice and clean, super fresh, cubed up into little maybe one inch squares. And I have them marinating in a mixture of one cup of fresh orange juice, half a cup of fresh lime juice, and half a cup of fresh lemon juice. Put it in a refrigerator, let it sit for anywhere from an hour to two hours to get that fish starting to cook and really to cook through, because again, that citrus is what's gonna cook that fish. From there, I add some just fresh chopped red onion. Doesn't matter how much, again, do it by eye, whatever looks good. Fresh chopped apple, again, about the same size pieces as the fish. Fresh tomatoes, you can use plum tomatoes, you can use cherry tomatoes. God, these were just absolutely beautiful, though. I couldn't resist using the cherry tomatoes. A bunch of fresh chopped jalapeno pepper, seeded, okay? And again, you could do this by taste. You could always add a little bit more later. And a ton of fresh cilantro, right from the garden. A lot of fresh cilantro. Just pile that in there. Mix it all together, just fold it all together. Take your time. Okay, fold that all together. Oh God, look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the colors, the smell is just gorgeous. I just mix it together. A bunch of salt and pepper, fresh ground black pepper. Don't be afraid to put it in there. Coarse kosher salt, pop that in there. Boom. Give it another good stir. Again, don't go crazy with mixing it. All of those flavors are gonna mix. You don't wanna turn it into a mush. Just kind of mix it all together, get everything blended together. And at this stage, once it's all mixed together, what we wanna do is just pop it back in the refrigerator for about another 30 to 60 minutes to let all of those flavors kind of come together. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll pop it back in the refrigerator and then we'll serve it. That's it, we took it out of the fridge after about another hour. All of those flavors came together and I'll tell you what, it looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to try it. Mm. Oh my. Citrusy, super fresh, and you can taste every ingredient. The fish, the cilantro, the lime juice, the crispiness of the apple. It's so simple, it's healthy so versatile, and as I mentioned earlier, ingredients are only limited by your imagination.